so this is simple program we have written so whatever we are showing here same thing only so angular js framework we can download from angular js.org file that we can include in our script in our in our html and I, we can work with angular js it is not a uh, java or uh, any other uh, software so we install exe executable installation executable so such things not require it is a js file so we include the js file that is fine no need of uh, execute click next 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 that is not required okay so simple if we add that js file in our html page we can directly work with angular okay so that is angular js and so already we discuss what is module so module is a we first we have to create a mo module by using angular dot module function so this function is to creating registering and retrieving the angular modules so if you see here in in my js file i created module angular dot module emp next one i am giving empty parentheses empty braces okay so why i have given this empty braces okay so because if i didn't specify this empty braces what will happen is the angular what it will do is it will check whether any module with the name employee in angular so that employee module it will fetch and it will fetch okay so i in angular we don't have any module employee so that's why uh, we should not use like this we are always creating a new new module employee so that's why we should use like empty parentheses okay so that th that is it means so always you are creating a new module of the name employee the the that's what it is okay suppose some module other modules if you want to use in your application so that you can inject like this like uh, uh, some other modules like ng resource ng res resource so this is another module that is not as part of angular so the, uh, you have to work with the, uh, this module in your application then we can inject it so remember so this ng resource it is not as part of angular in the same way assume there is uh, game resource so this game resource it is not a uh, it is not part of angular but you want to use this game resource in your angular js application so in that case you, you can inject uh, as a module in, in this section okay so this is how we can uh, we can create a module so uh, here if i if i didn't create anything so i am creating a module emp name if you specify parentheses if you specify parentheses it means we are creating a new module if you didn't specify parentheses it means we are fetching module module in angular js with of name employee and if you use some game resource so we are creating module employee by injecting game resource that is what it means so now employee is able this employee module can able to fetch the controllers views directives whatever you define in game resource in the same way you can include this uh, you can use this module in your in any other module also that is that is not a problem you can use this that is reusability so you can use this module in your another module also so that is what it means okay so that is module next one is template template is html documents we have written ng app directive okay so we created the module and we mod this module you want to instantiate in web pages using ng app directive using this directive you can get the module information 
employee is a module that employee i am fetching in html using ng app directive okay so scope we already discussed in order to initialize in order to display data on web page first we need to put it in scope so uh, there is a there is a service dollar scope service so that's dollar scope service we use to to put the data inside the scope so this is dependency injection so dollar scope is a service which is defined by angular js that we are injecting in our controller in the same in the controller employee controller in the same way dollar scope we are injecting in std controller okay so these are the services which are defined in uh, angular js so if you want to display some data on web page first we have to put that put your data or model in the scope you have to specify model or data in the scope okay now i am disp i display the data in the scope i i specified my data i uh, define my data in the scope i am displaying here there are one more there are some directives that we can define in html document itself ng init so ng init is a directive using ng init directive we can define the data in uh, here itself so ng init equal to some uh, application name so app name i am giving name as some uh, so book my game so book my game is application name that i don't want to create in in back end that i don't want to uh, uh, get from data uh, database okay so this i want to define in my page itself okay so in that case i use ng init direct because this app name is common in in the whole page so that's why i don't want to uh, separate this uh, app name uh, outside of the page i mean outside of the html page so that's why i'm defining uh inside the html page only so the how i can create using ng init directive so i can define this type of data now i can display this data see here i created ng init outside of the div now i will i want to fetch this data ng app name or i can create outside of the div app name app name okay so and i am giving uh, h4 h4 okay so now let's see see okay so app oh double mm, app name equal to book my game see book my game came so this is application name and i will display this as some bold uh, because it will be helpful to display see book my game this is my application name that i am displaying in web page and that data i am initializing using ng init directive so this is about ng init directive 